hi welcome to driving tv and i hope you are well in this video i'd like to share with you some of the tips and tricks on steering on your driving steering is one of the most important thing on your driving so in this video i'd like to share with you around nine tips on steering let's start the lesson so number one is adjust Make sure you are sitting in a position where you are comfortable of holding the steering. So you're not too close and you're not too far. So you need to adjust your seat in a way so that you feel comfortable. You're not too close and you're not too far. And the advice is you need to have some bend on your hand on your steer when you are holding the wheel. So that when you take your hands on the top, you don't need to go forward. To do the steering so when you hold the steering when you do the adjustment make sure you have some bend here so that you could do so you could go around the steering without going forward so you don't have to do that when you are steering okay so number one is the adjustment make sure the seat is in a position where you are not too far you are not too close to the steering okay you need to feel comfortable when you hold the steering when you're driving so number one is the adjustment. Make sure you adjust in a way so you are comfortable with the steering. Number two, where should you hold the steering? Okay, now earlier it was advised for you to hold 10 to 2 or quarter to 3. But now the advice, it is advised for you to hold quarter to 3, which is 9 and 3. Okay, 9 and three this is the position where it is now advised for you to hold why because they say that for you to steer properly for you to steer comfortably and safely that's the safest place so from here you could steer comfortably without any problem so nine and three it is advised for you to hold the steering number three is the grip you want to make sure your grip isn't too tight and not too loose enough so that you could feel the steering that you are holding not too loose and not too tight if it's too tight it will be difficult for you to steer and if it's too loose it might just go itself you want to make sure that you are holding and the steering isn't going without you actually steering so you don't want to be too loose but at the same time you don't want to be too tight okay so enough grip so that you could steer comfortably also the steering isn't taking control from you it's not too loose okay so grip should be not too firm and not too loose enough so that you could steer by yourself number four the technique of steering the method of steering the best way to do it is pull and push technique obviously there are other videos on how to do the pull and push technique so basically you pull with one and you push it with the other okay so it's pull and push technique not crossing hands on your steering pull and push meaning this is 12 o'clock and this is six o'clock both hand shouldn't go more than 12 6 12 and 6 so this hand shouldn't go more than there and it shouldn't go more than there obviously sometimes on your steering very quickly if you do go over a little bit it doesn't mean you're going to fail your test for that it's not dangerous for you to do that but it is not advised because best way to steer is the method of pull and push technique okay so pull and push technique okay there are other videos on how to do the pull and push technique i will leave a link on the description for you to have a look on those videos but pull and push technique have a look how to do that the best way to steer is pull and push technique also on your steering pull and push technique what it does is it helps you to be safe so, so for example if you cross hands what you're doing is you are covering the airbag here in the middle so you want to avoid that you want to make sure your hands is going around pull and push so you keep this part safe so that it helps you so that you want to keep this middle safe so that it helps you to keep safe if something happens in an accident you want to be safe because you want to keep the middle open you don't want to cover with your hand you want to make sure you're steering like that so the middle part is open to help you to keep you safe so in the beginning doing the pull and push technique may be difficult for you i would say do some practice at home there is a video on my channel how to do the practice at home 
the pull and push technique so you get used to it so when you go to your lesson you're not wasting your time and money trying to get that right if you think you're finding it difficult how to do the pull and push technique practice at home and i do have a video on how to do that number five try to have both hands on the wheel at all time try not to let the wheel go both hands on the wheel when you are driving okay and um, the only time you let the wheel go is when you are changing gear if you're driving a manual car or maybe putting the fan on or something other than that both hands on the wheel so maximum time you should have both hands on the wheel even if you need to thank someone try not to take your hands off and thank because that will be you will fail the test for that because according to the law you should have both hands on the wheel maximum time so if you need to wave at someone because you want to thank them for some reason don't take your hands off and thank take your hands on the top and thank but have both hands on the wheel okay so if you need to thank someone on the top thank bring it back again but don't take your hands off the wheel because that will be taking your hands off the wheel and most of the time you should have both hands on the wheel next is for you to get good steering for you to keep your car in a good position and get the steering right keep the car in a good position is to look far many drivers the mistake they make is they look too near they look up to the bonnet on their driving if you do that then it will look you are going too close the way you are looking it will look as if you are hitting the pavement because you are looking too near so when you're driving look far as possible that way it will get better steering to get better position so don't look too near look far so when you're driving like i said don't look where the bonnet is look far ahead as much as you can far away that way you will get better position with your steering okay next is dry steering i don't know if you heard about dry steering dry steering is where you steer when the car isn't moving so when you stop somewhere safe on the left before you go try not to steer before the car moves so try to move the car a little bit before you do the steering if you are doing your parking in a very tight space yes maybe you can do the dry steering here and there but try not to make that a habit try not to make that a regular thing where you dry steer every time you are driving every now and again maybe in a tight space like i said you need to get out then it's fine for you to do a dry steering here and there but don't make that a regular thing try not to do that regularly when you are steering so dry steering means you are steering when the car is stationary in the beginning when you're learning maybe a maneuver or something then dry steering to getting the step right is okay but don't make that a regular thing as if you are doing that every time okay so learning the maneuver for the first time or getting out or going into a tight space dry steer is okay but make sure that's not a regular thing it's not something you do that all the time it's not good for your steering and it's not good for your wheel either when you do the dry steering so your car should move a little bit when you do the steering okay next is reversing when you're reversing where should you hold the wheel now both hands should always be on steering like i said before except when you're changing gear or something otherwise both hands when you're reversing you need to look at the back that way you need to look at the back and you could have one hand at 12 o'clock on top when the car is going straight so when you're going straight in a straight line you're reversing you could have your left hand on your lap or you could have on back of your seat on the passenger seat and you could drive with right hand at 12 o'clock and look at the back and you could do that okay so 12 o'clock left hand could be back of the passenger seat or on your lap on your steering okay but when you need to steer when you're reversing you need to take both hands you can't steer with one hand make sure you remember this let me make it clear when the car is going in a straight line you could have one hand meaning the right hand at 12 o'clock and left hand can be on your lap or back of the passenger seat and you could drive like that when it's going straight if you need to steer you need to bring your hand back and you steer with both hand don't steer with one hand you could only steer with one hand when you're reversing when the car is going in a straight line not on your steering so if you need to steer you need to go left and right take bring your hands back on the wheel the other thing about reversing is which way do you steer when you're reversing to go left and right easy way to remember is think which way you need to take back of your car if you need to take back of your car left you steer 
left. If you need to take back of your car right, you steer right. That's the simple way for you to remember which way to steer. So when you're reversing, look at the back and think which way you need to take the back. If you need to take the back left, you steer left. If you need to take the back right, you steer right. That's the easy way to remember which way to steer. I've got many other videos on my channel regards to reversing and the maneuvers. Watch the other videos on the channel, but that's the best way to remember to steer which way to steer. You need to take the back left, you steer left. You need to take the back right, you steer right. Both hands on the wheel on your steering. If it's going straight, you could have it at 12 o'clock, one hand. Okay? So these are the tips I'm sharing in this video, and I hope these tips helps you to understand about the steering, where to hold, and the rest. And in the beginning, you might find difficult with the steering. I wouldn't worry too much. I would just keep on practicing. And like I said, you could practice at home. There is a method on how to do the practice at home. You could do that to improve, but I wouldn't worry too much in the beginning. That can be difficult, but you will get over it, okay? Also, if you are learning and you need help on learn to drive and to pass a driving test, don't forget to take the advantage of our online course, which gives everything a learner needs to learn to drive and to pass a driving test. The course has many videos. It has more than 30 videos to help you to understand how to learn to drive and to pass a driving test. I will leave a link on the description for you to have a look. Have a look and see and read. And if you like it, you could always join the course. Thank you for watching. And I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up. And please do make a comment what you think of the video. And if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And hope to see you again on the next video. Bye for now.